today we kicked off the inaugural event of the Granite Kids Shopathon, where we help impoverished kids secure much needed clothing, whether that be underclothing, shoes, socks, underwear. It's just things to get them through their everyday life. As a foundation, we serve between 68 and 70,000 students. And of that 70,000, 65% of them are at or below poverty. Many of the kids that we're shopping today often find themselves sleeping on the floor without a blanket. As so we had kids that have recently lost a parent. We have kids that are now just coming out of homelessness. I think oftentimes we forget what's going on in our own backyard. We're more concerned about what's happening in third world countries when we have the exact same issues right here amongst our neighbors and our close friends. Over the last year has been the hardest year for my family. Sorry. Their father has passed away and it was quite sudden. He was diagnosed with heart failure in 2012. So we knew that his heart was bad. They had told us that his heart was getting better so we had a little hope. And then he just, he just collapsed and was gone. I was at work. I had barely gotten to work when I got the call. Knight was at school. Unfortunately, my youngest, Michael, was the only one home when he had collapsed and passed away. Honestly, I was hoping and praying that they would bring him back and that we would just go to the hospital and we'd move on with life. We'd be fine. What's on, Mikey? Five or eight? Five or eight? My boy's biggest concern is me. They're always telling me how much they love me. They're always making me smile, always making me laugh. And when I do have a bad day, they're always telling me how pretty I am and how smart I am and how much they love me. They know what to do to pick me back up and make me happy again. We were struggling financially to make ends meet and to even buy in the simplest things like shoes or pants for the first day of school was, it was a challenge for me. The school sent a letter home and then they called me and asked me if they, I would be interested in this program. Then I was relieved. Of course, I said, yes. Are you guys brothers? Yes. yes. Wait, let me take a picture. Good? You got it. I'm taking a bunch of them. What? So what's your favorite part of the day? Uh, my favorite part of the day is everything. I get to see everything. It's all my boys could talk about. From the moment I told them what was going to happen to the moment it actually happened, they absolutely loved it. They had a blast. I was actually able to pay my power bill and my gas bill because I didn't have to worry about getting them clothes. It relieved so much stress for us this month. I was. It's what I needed. Every school has its challenges. There are kids in every school that has needs that aren't being met. Today, I witnessed a little boy needing underwear. He was wearing his dad's tidy whities with a big knot tied in the back that had rubbed his back raw. All he wanted today was a pair of underwear his size so that he would fit in with his peers at school. The payoff for this event is seeing the kids leave with bags of clothes that they've never had before. And the reward is seeing the big smile on their face as they go through that door. Poverty knows no boundaries, and no one likes to see kids suffer. This is our community. These are our kids. It takes all of us to raise them and provide hope. Isn't that what we're all about here, is trying to build these kids up and make them feel loved and accepted?